How could it be that the pressure in the afternoon was lower than the pressure in the early morning? Remember, there's a violent chemical reaction going on inside the nuclear reactor where all sorts of hydrogen gas is being generated. Well, one possible reason for the lower containment pressure is that the containment vent was open. But that hadn't happened yet. So what made the pressure drop down? One possibility, I believe to be the case, is something that happened 40 years ago at a plant called the Brunswick plant in North Carolina. Now the nuclear industry in the US, the IAEA, the Japanese are all aware of this, but they're all ignoring this test and pretending that it didn't happen. What happened 40 years ago was this. When a containment was, was pressurized, it was pressurized to just about 100 pounds, and then something really strange and unexpected happened. The top, the head of the containment, began to lift off of the bottom of the containment. Getting back to my, my uh, mug here, what happened was that the bolts that hold the top to the bottom began to stretch. And the top lifted and allowed the gases to slide out. That held the pressure in here at 100 pounds, even though gases were being pumped in. Now, this was not an accident. This was pressurized with normal air. It was a test. But the containment at Brunswick began to leak at around 100 pounds per square inch. Let's look at that table again from Fukushima. Where did Fukushima settle out at? Just about 100 pounds per square inch. What that tells me is that the head of the containment lifted up and gases began to sneak out into the reactor building, which is that box that surrounds it, well before the containment vent was even opened. Now another photograph of the site right before the explosion clearly shows that the containment vent was open. You'll see the stack on the, on the right of this picture, and it has steam coming out the top, smoke coming out the top. What that is is it's highly radioactive gases and water vapor, and it's creating that steam. So we know that right before the explosion, the containment vent was working. Now, the Japanese are saying, well, the containment vent was working, but the, the pipes were somehow or other leaking hydrogen into the plant as well, and that's what caused the explosion. To my way of thinking, the data doesn't support the interpretation of the nuclear industry and the Japanese. What the data does support is the Brunswick test from 40 years ago. It seems to me that for eight hours or more, the containment at Fukushima was basically ruptured, that the top had popped up and gases were sliding out so that it couldn't go over 100 pounds per square inch. And hydrogen gases were leaking into the containment, out of the containment, and into the reactor building for a long period of time. After that, it only took a spark to blow the, con to blow the reactor building up. This is a really important distinction. The nuclear industry, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and the Japanese are saying that we can make the vent stronger so that this, this accident can't happen. But if the nuclear head is lifting up, the vent is irrelevant. The containment on the Mark I design has a design flaw that the containment vent can't solve. Whether or not the nuclear reactor containment at Fukushima maintained its integrity is a critical question to the operating fleet of BWR reactors throughout the world. I'll be working on some more information over the next week, and we'll have another video up shortly. Thank you very much. I'll keep you informed.